Welcome to today's two-minute devotional. When the disciples asked Jesus how to pray, they, he gave them an example, a pattern prayer for them to follow. To our knowledge, no one asked the Apostle Paul how to pray, but he gave some excellent prayers which are good patterns for us today. Paul believed that the ultimate objective was God's glory. And Paul was confident that that which God began in the believers, he would continue to work on and to perfect the believers until the day of Christ. Paul prayed that they would grow in, law, in love, in knowledge and discernment, that they would make morally excellent choices, and that they would have pure motive so that they wouldn't cause others to stumble. Based on the righteousness provided by Christ, Paul knew that this would then produce fruit in their lives. But the ultimate purpose was not their blessing or their consumption or even their benefit, but rather the ultimate purpose was God's glory. Everything in this wonderful prayer looks forward to that time that God receives the ultimate glory. And rather than looking for what we will receive, our hearts also need to be cultivated to long ultimately for God's glory. To this end, the angels praise God. Revelation 4.11 says, Worthy are you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. Because of your will they existed and were created. Listen as I read Philippians chapter 1, verses 9 through 11, Paul's prayer. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment so that you may approve things that are excellent in order to be sincere and blameless until the day of Christ, having been filled with the fruits of righteousness which come through Jesus Christ to the glory and the praise of God. All of our longings and prayers should end with the same desire, to the glory and praise of God. This will be the last in this series of daily devotionals. If you'd like to see them continued at some time in the future, please let me know.